Everyone keeps freaking out about them. You haven't seen any of the trailers? I think I saw the first teaser where it's just zooming out of the rock and like the shark swims around. Okay. Well, I saw the second trailer. That trailer scared the crap out of me. Just like the very concept of... I'm Greg, by the way. I'm John. Well, The Shallow's the beginning. I heard they have a new trailer. Normally when it's like, for movies like this, when there's already like a third trailer, I don't really care for them. I heard this trailer, though, is like a good new marketing direction. And in terms of like keeping along, I don't know, right about on Collider. Let's just watch it. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a clip or something, right? I don't know. Let's find out. For a second, I thought they'd retitle it The Shallow's The Beginning. And I was about to throw up. I was about to throw up. I was about to oh throw my God. up. I am. I am. Oh, it's beautiful. I want to go there. Oh, man. Learning to be self-reliant takes time. And hard work. <laughs> These are the steps. Ryan Reynolds has sex with her. Oh. Know where you are going? Make your own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks she's gonna have the time of her life. It's hard work to become self reliant. <laughs> Any one of us could use a bit more than we have. Oh, wow. Yeah. If you're not self reliant, you'll never do any more than just get started. Oh! <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Oh! That's scary! Oh! oh. <laughs> Love that swing your ear. Oh, poor Blake. Oh no. She was bit. Wow. A little dose of self reliance can do wonders. <laughs> now you may think that's the end of the story. Actually, it's only the beginning. <laughs> Oh, self-reliance. <laughs> That's awesome. It's hilarious. What was that speech? I don't know. I, I, it sounded uh, older. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I, that was really cool. I thought that was really cool. I believe that was Nixon speaking. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. That totally. was definitely Nixon. D and, or and President Jimmy Carter. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's who it was. One of the two. Could have been Bush. Who knows? Okay, yeah. Uh, apparently this movie has a theme, huh? About self-reliance. And... Uh, <laughs> I think it's a little ironic. Yeah, it's like gravity like on a rock. It's not, but it is. It's, yeah. It is. Well, it is, you know, yeah. like this woman stranded. She's not that far from her destination, but, you know, sharks are fast. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is an actual thing, but, you know, like location-based horror movies where it's like, ooh, it's all in a jungle. It's all, like, on a uh, secluded beach. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I like that. That's what's cool about horror. They tend to take place in a, in a very specific amount of time. Yeah. You yeah. know, like... It doesn't. It doesn't usually span a lot like most. Five work. years. Yeah, <laughs> like it usually takes place. Like so that way, you know, people get killed off and shit. Yeah. But for I love horror like this. You know, it's cool that Blake Lively is doing this because she is Ryan Reynolds' wife. Yeah. And Ryan Reynolds did Buried, which was a one man show. That's true. And this is like her one little woman one woman show here. Yeah, I, I really like her. It was really her works. surfing too. Yeah, it looks like, no, it looks like she really threw herself into this movie, and and, and I hope this works just because of that. What this is looks cool to me. So. And I heard Ryan Reynolds is a uh, acting coach, uh, actually coach her for this, too. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, that's a real fact, people. If you can pull off just, like, a real, like, a movie like this kind of has to thrive on, like, a resourceful lead and just tension, just tons yeah. and tons of tension. If you can deliver just, like, one of those tension tone poem movies like that would be awesome well they showed another trailer where there's a couple of other dudes at the ocean but you know like they're just used to get killed off in a way you know? oh, I'm, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure they'll show up as like oh hope so i'm hoping this goes down a, a route that is very clever not like repetitive or you know i'm bored that's the problem with stories like this i hope this is like a solid like 80 to 90 minute film yeah, 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 yeah. Like lean, but but like really sharp. Like a really tight yeah. plot. Really, you know. Yeah, because I like these kind of movies, like Phone Booth and stuff. You yeah, know? Like, those yeah. are cool kind of flicks. It's awesome because it gives you a chance to see 
filmmakers working with something really small and you usually get a damn good lead performance at the same time. You get to see them become very creative in a small environment yeah, yeah. and learn to create suspense and tension without like a bunch of extra shit and well, you get a great is, performance. There are other kinds of movies that you can basically kind of make, they'll work anyway because of the formula or because of all the toys and stuff around, but this is a movie where it's like, if this is going to be good, like, you got to mm. be a competent director, you got to be a tight writer, and you got to have a good, compelling lead. I'm excited, and I really hope this works, because this could be awesome. Like, this could be really cool. I heard that Blake Lively, in order to get fit for the role, she had to become bulimic. That is the gossip of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Yeah, because she, she's on Pretty Little Lights. And they no. gossip a lot and they're all girls. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Summer hype. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Her and three other teenagers. <laughs> hey, Sony Pictures, I'm there. I'm yeah. your guy. I have money. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go to John's wallet. Oh no, it's falling apart. And I'm gonna, you have no cash. I know. You have no cash. No, I used it. And your wallet's falling apart. Yeah, I know, I gotta get a new wallet. Well, this bit's not working. I was gonna take out some it cash. A, it a gift. I was gonna throw it like a pimp and well, you, show, you hey. You don't have any cash? Well, I do, but it's all the way over there. I'll go get your cash. Okay, can you get the cash? Yeah. Give me one second, guys. Do you want this cash or, or this cash? Uh, oh, give me the tissues. <laughs> give me the tissues. Dude, you're building a joke in real time. It's like Craig Ferguson. I'm so rich these days. Are you? Are you rich? Yeah. Um, hey, what do you think of Blake Lively? I think Blake Lively. Hey, chill! <laughs> well, guys, if you like comedy, subscribe today and become a reject. I hope it was bright enough that we could tell it's on us. Well, they're $100 bills. John is Jerry. Reasons? You gotta find out to Jerry. Yeah. Bloomhouse.com, SS, social media manager. What does the SS stand for? Go there and find out. Bloomhouse.com, people. Find out what's going on. Follow us on Facebook.com and Instagram and re, uh, I mean, and, uh, Twitter. And uh, who knows? Maybe uh, you get a picture of John's nipple. Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen your nipples in a very long time, John. It's been years. That's a weird thing to say to another person. Well, we don't go to pool parties or the beach ever. Uh, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't, do we? That I used remember, to be the shit. Well, when we were young, when we were like second grade, I, like I remember we had really big nipples. Did I really? Yeah, yeah, like big, like penguin nipples. What does that mean? What they is look a penguin like penguin nipple? nipples. Penguins? Do they have nipples? They do in my mind. <laughs>